So let's start with factorization method. How to solve a given quadratic equation using the factors or the factorization method. The first method, the factorization method. The factorization method is the word itself states about factors. So we identify the factors and that helps us in solving the quadratic equation. So let me take an example problem and let's see how factorization method can be solved with that respective example problem. For example, I take an equation equals 1 by 6. Now this is directly not a quadratic because I have linear x and the power of x here is minus 1 which is non-negative integral. We have to make this a quadratic by further simplifying and just let's see if we can test this for a quadratic equation. That's the first thing you must identify that whether a given equation is quadratic or not. So let's see if this is quadratic or not a quadratic equation. To start with, I can take the LCM of x and 1 over 3x, which comes out as 3x. So this gets multiplied with 3x times of x is how we do the LCM part. And this with 1 times of 1, this equals 1 over 6 is how I get the LCM of x and 1 and 3x done out here. Next x times of 3x is 3x squared minus 1 over 3x is 1 over 6 is how I get the simplified part of the above equation. Now this on further simplification through cross multiplication gives me 6 times of 3x squared minus 1 is 1 times of 3x which needs to be further simplified. Therefore <coughs> When I expand this over the brackets, I get 6 times of 3 is 18x squared minus 6 is 3x. Then this with all terms to the left and only 0 to be kept on the right gives me 18x squared minus 3x minus 6 equal to 0. Which can further be simplified by cancelling each of 3. So I divide the whole equation with the number 3 so that I get 18 by 3 as 3, 3 6 x squared minus x minus 2 equal to 0 because I divide whole of this equation with 3 I get 3 6 18 3 1s minus x 3 2s minus 2. Now this is clearly a quadratic equation which is obtained from the given problem. Therefore, I have to solve the, the given quadratic equation and the roots or the solution of this quadratic equation is nothing but indirectly the solution of the given problem is how we understand the concept. So let's see how we can solve the given quadratic equation using the factorization method. So the quadratic here is 6x squared minus x minus 2 equal to 0. Now the first rule in solving the, fact, the factors for this given quadratic equation using the factorization method is that we always multiply the coefficient of x square with the constant term. Always in any quadratic equation we multiply the coefficient of x square with the constant term. So I get this. This of course I don't take the sign into consideration. But apart from sign, I just find the factors as 2L. Now next, I want to find all the possible factors of 2L, which I start with 1. Let me identify the value 2L with all its possible factors. Initially, 1 times of 2L is 2L. Next, 4 times of 3 is 2L. And 6 times of 2 is also 12. So these are the possible factors for 12. So once we identify all the possible factors, then 
we try to consider the middle value which is the coefficient of x. Now here the coefficient of x is minus 1. Therefore when I add or subtract the factors I need to get minus 1. So when I add 1 and 12 I get 13. It doesn't work out here. When I subtract 1 from 12 I get 11. Still it doesn't work here. When I take 6 and 2, 6 plus 2 is 8, doesn't work out here. 6 minus 2 also is 4, which doesn't work here. But when I take 4 plus 3 also, it is 7, it doesn't work. But when I take 3 minus 4, it is minus 1, which works here. Because the coefficient of x here is minus 1. Therefore, these factors will help me in factorization. 3 minus 4 equal to minus 1. So this gives me... 3 minus 4 equal to minus 1 which is nothing but the coefficient of x which helps in factorization. This is how we identify the concept in factorization method. Therefore, when I split this, minus x can be split as plus 3x minus 4x minus 2 equal to 0. Because 3x minus 4x is minus x. So indirectly minus x I can write it as 3x minus 4x. So that the factors 3 and 4 as obtained for 12 here will help in factorization. So indirectly when I split x in the form of the factors of 12. Then only factorization is possible through the factorization method. Very important to note here. So then next I pair the first two and the last two together. The next concept is pairing them together so that this pair I can take 3x common. I need to take the maximum possible terms which I can take common out of this pair which is 3x which I can take common out of these two terms. So finally when 3x is taken common I get this to be 2x plus 1 which comes inside the brackets. Similarly. I can take minus 2 common out here where the remaining terms inside would be 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Now sometimes there is a possibility that we do mistakes in taking the terms common. So it's very important that to recheck whether what we have taken common out here is right or wrong. Therefore in order to recheck I re-expand this to see whether I get the similar terms. 3x into 2x is 6x squared, 3x into x is 3x. So what I have taken common here is very much correct. It is about verification. Similarly, minus 2 times 2x is minus 4x, right? Minus 2 times 1 is minus 2, so I am right. So rechecking through the expansion for getting the original terms is very important here because many students do mess up in doing mistakes and taking something common out here and here. So verification is a must. Make a note. Next, I find that the whole of 2x plus 1 is again common out of the first term and the second term taken on the whole. Therefore, this common term comes out of both the terms so that the remaining terms, when 2x plus 1 comes out, then I have only 3x left inside and this comes out, then only minus 2 is left inside. So that I get 2x plus 1 into 3x minus 2 equal to 0. Is how I get when the whole of 2x plus 1 is taken out. Now I have the product of two factors equal to 0. The product of two factors is 0 makes me understand through the factor theorem that each of the factor can be 0. Either this equal to 0 or this equal to 0 is the factor method. So that implies... 2x plus 1 is 0 or 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. Either this equal to 0 or this equal to 0 is what when combined gives both product equal to 0. It's not compulsory that both of them should be 0. Even if one of them is 0, then 0 multiplied to any non-zero number will give back 0. Is how we understand this factor concept. Next. When 2x plus 1 equal to 0, then what is the value of x? It's clearly minus 1 over 2. And then 
when 3x minus 2 equal to 0 then clearly I get 3x equal to 2 that implies x is 2 over 3 and x is minus 1 over 2 therefore solution of the given problem is x equal to minus 1 by 2 and 2 by 3 indirectly written in this form or x equal to minus half and x equal to 2 over 3 are the required solutions of the given quadratic equation indirectly not in its quadratic form the respective equation given as x minus 1 by 3x equal to 1 by 6 reduced to a quadratic equation and held solved using factorization method is how we do for any quadratic equation.